Oh dear. It's very wet where Hazel is. I know, there's a lot of Scotland um, and down south got the rain. Um, I hope it doesn't rain because we are going to have friends in the village for a 50th garden thing. Hi, Barbara. Um, it's not till four o'clock, but I'm going to go and give her, give her a wee hand with stuff. So it's in the garden, so I hope it doesn't, um, it doesn't rain today. don't think it's forecast, though. I wasn't sure what I was going to make today, um, but then I was clearing out and I found this Christmas box. Um, I have got a, you know, the big giant bubbles you get. I thought, I really need to make some more of those. And I thought, what can I do? And I thought, you know what? Hi, Lisa. I'll do three boxes. Do three boxes and I'll do them stacking. Whether it works out like that or not, I don't know. Um, the whole point is, though, the bottom of the, bo the box the base will be... Um, you could use cardstock, but I suggest you use the backing from the designer series paper. Right, ho Now, some people might not want to use this. Um, however, you can put it on the bottom of the box. Or you can... Um, Cut out a piece to cover it. Yeah, we'll use that. It's so pretty. Right, I'm going to... Um, morning, Ian. You didn't get a notification. Oh, so annoying. Um, oh, wow. Look, I just want to show you all my plants. Look. Woo Let me get this filter off the now. No, that's not it off. Oh, my goodness. Look at all them. Oh, it's just... It's steam fuzzy. Right, let me see. Let me bow you around. <laughs> there, that's better. Morning, Shirida. How are you, my lovely lady? Right, you're going to need a scoreboard if you're um, doing this. We don't need to do a lot of cutting. So, um, let me see. I was going to show you countryside corners. So, this is a stamp, which is a, a one-off a one -off stamp. It is one stamp, and the dies that go with it are here. These are gorgeous. Countryside Corners dies, so these are lovely. But I'll show you what I've done. This is for an upcoming blog hop in August. So I made a five by seven card. I stamped the stamp twice on the, the sheet, and then I stamped on top of it. Um, and the theme was, oh, I can't remember what the theme was. I think it's um, sh shapes or simple stamping, I can't remember. Anyway, I stamped on it and I think it's turned out okay. I haven't used this with um, the dies, doing all the layers and stuff. I just, I just don't have the time for that. But, um, hi, Karen. If you do do any projects with it, please share it to the Crafty Stamping Club group and give me some inspiration. So, yeah, so this goes with this sweet. Right, let me pop them away. But they're now. Right, put that card to the side. So it's really, really easy. Really, really easy. So stackable boxes. So we need a scoreboard. What's everyone's plans for today anyway? Oh, thanks, Jean. I'm going to use this ribbon as well to tie it all together. So stackable boxes are really good. And the first time I'd done stackable boxes was actually at my friend... Cody Papercrafts, one of our workshops a few years ago. And yeah, it was amazing. She does her boxes all um, double reinforced and stuff like that, but I'm just keeping it simple. Right, what I'm going to go for is light, dark, light. So let's choose the papers first. So for the light... Da, 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 da. Maybe I should do dark medium. 
and then light. Mm. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm as bad as this when I'm trying to pick something from a takeaway menu as well. Right, I'm going to use that on the bottom. Because I was supposed to be going out, uh, nobody's feeling well. Oh, no. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Lorraine. Hope you're well. Um, now, these are directional papers. The ones that have got the little critters on them. So I think I'll use the one with the trees. I'm not bothered. And I will use this one for the top because this is going to be smaller. You might need another sheet, but let me try. Right, so first box. It's really, 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 really easy. All we do, hope you're well, honey. All we're going to do is we're going to score three and a half on all four sides. So, oh, that's not three and a half. <laughs> Three and a half. <laughs> Don't do as I do. Three and a half. Three and a half. And the last one, three and a half. Now for, let me see. For the lid, all I do is I take it out a tiny little sliver from the left side. Um, so three and a half, and I only do this on two two sides, three and a half, and then I just do a normal three and a half. Awesome! So it's a nice big box. Perfect. Right. So let's make this one the now, and then we'll go into a littler one. A littler one. Right, I'm going to grab my big scissors. Give me a wee second. Do, 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 do. Do, do, giggles. Da, da, da. I'll just use these scissors because it's easier. Right, me get my spectacles on. Can't believe what a nice day it is out there. So what I'm going to do is cut up the score line and then wedge it a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Or mitre it, whatever, whatever you feel it's called. Everybody calls things different, don't they? Now these scissors aren't as smooth as my snips, obviously, because they're not tramping up. Okay, so you want to do this on all four sides. That one, that one needs a little more bit off. There we go. Nobody noticed my new nails. I just got infills done. I'm making it a priority to look after me and having pretty nails makes me feel better so if that means going to the wee nail shop then so be it okay so i'm going to keep this to the bottom so we're going to fold and burnish in all the journals hello janice i love it when you put your wavy hands up <laughs> it's like i'm here we're just well, I'm going to attempt a three, a trio of boxes which will stack. So, just fold down all the score lines. Sometimes you're better just coming on and doing um, make it up as you go projects. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold in all the flaps and we are going to glue them. Because it's such a big, um, the flaps are so big, it does give um, a nice solid box. Now, I will use wet glue because I don't, um, I don't trust myself to use tape today because my, I feel like my hands aren't, um, is that a new glue? My hands aren't working as well as they should be today. 
you know, when you get, you know, you're a bit, oh, and I forgot to take my medicine. So I'll need to, um, oops, oh, it's a bit much glue. I'll need to take my medicine after this live. Flying in by the seat of your little Scottish pants. <laughs> right, just give it a good press or a burnish. If you put too much glue on, it's going to seep out the sides. And that wasn't very good, Trisha. Make sure all your flaps are po pointing in the way. So you don't have to fight with it to get them out. Mm, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, a little bit of excess glue there. These are nice simple boxes. Simple, simple. Oh, I've got some glue on here already. Yuck. And here's this piece where I scored it wrong. Better getting the accidents out the way. I'm going to glue this second one as well, folks, just because it's um, a bit difficult to do that on its own. Okay, so just press and hold that bit, and then I'll go on to this one. And then that just saves faffing about. Not so little, oh, bless. <laughs> bless, bless. And there we have our box base. So it's sturdy enough. We can cover this um, later. So that will be, obviously we've scored it at, what's three and a half, three and a half. So that's what, seven. So this is a five inch box. I could have just measured it on my, yeah, it's a five by five by three and a half size box. Right, now on to the lid. It's a it's a nice wee box. Where's the score line? It is nice. And I was trying to put my order in today, but my computer's just playing up and it won't let me um close off my workshop order. So if you're ordering today, because I'm not going back into it today. Um, online, please do use um, this hostess code. That would be much appreciated. And then when the new hostess code's out, I'll let you all know. Yeah, it wouldn't work on my phone. It wouldn't work on my computer. It wouldn't work on... Now, I've scored that a little bit too hard there, so I'm just going to put some wet glue on it. It will dry clear. Oops. So, yeah, I will be trying it later. Um, let's just see. I just want to go out and go back in. Pardon me, to see if there's more comments. Perfect. Right. So, time to snip, snip, snip again. I'm going to close this thing now. Now, although I have added a tiny little smidgen extra on the side so that the box fits snugly over the base, I I will make sure that it definitely does before I commit to gluing that fourth tab down. Because you just never know. I feel so jittery today. Oh, come on. I had a really good day yesterday. And then... Um, then I was shattered. <laughs> I, I actually made soup. By making soup, what I mean is I threw a bag of frozen broccoli. Well, I'm cutting this bit anyway, anyway so frozen broccoli, three double creams, chopped up a couple of packets of thick ham and shoved it in. Shoved it in the pot and then they, um, it cooked itself basically. Right, we're going to glue these bits down. So again, just tuck in the little glue tabs like so. So it's going to go like that. Glue tabs on the inside's always just for um, a cleaner finish on the outside of your box. Don't get me wrong, sometimes um, I've glued it in the wrong side of the flat and I've had to kind of go with the flow, but... 
But yeah, they're meant to be in the insides. And this is how I first started paper crafting, was um, going to a local craft class with my mother-in-law. Did I just wobble that? Yeah, I did. Going to a local craft class with my mother-in-law. Um, it's actually her, my, my father-in-law's cousin done it. Um, and it was all about boxes and jewellery and stuff. And that's how I got to liking paper crafts. And it was only after I joined Stampin' Up almost five years ago that I started doing cards. I thought, mm, I'm no good at this. I can't, I can't, I can't make cards. Um, but you know what? It's just so easy with the right, the right products and tools, isn't it? Hi, Karen, how are you? Oh, you're all right, honey, if I'm a little bit late. We're just going to try and attempt a trio of boxes. Um, upcycling the, or repurposing the, um, the backings. Did you manage to get your acrylic boxes from BM stores you showed? Uh, yes, I got another two. I've got another two of these, so um, the little drawer, so I've got my cards in this one. What I didn't manage to get was three of these. So this is um, smaller cards. Um, so this is a smaller size that fits on top of the bigger one. And I tell you what, this makes me really happy, these kind of storage boxes and what have you. But I tell you what, B&M suck the life out of the joy of having these by having the awful stickers on them. What a palaver trying to get them off. Okay, now we're just going to test this, make sure it fits. Perfect. And then I can commit to going down that fourth tab. Oh, sugar. See what I mean? I'm all squint today. What am I like? Do you know what? It's probably because I'm on a third coffee. But I did actually have my breakfast. Yes, Louise. Are, well, fingers crossed they will stack, my dear. Louise, you're doing a great job with your um, key rings and stuff and your vinyl. Right, glued. Ta -da. Right, now I need to be a big girl and work out <laughs> what size the next one's going to be. So I'm going to cut this down to nine by nine. Da, 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 da. And then we're going to score it two and a half on all sides. Now, this is going to go um, to the inside. Um, I maybe wouldn't recommend using that for this size box. So two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Janice, you're funny, you totally um, got the words out of my mouth there for me. <laughs> Brilliant. I just couldn't think there. Jeez, oh. Right, so next one is the lid. So we're going to use this. Um, I think I might use this. Do, what side do you think I should use? The trees, which some will be upside down, or this side. We'll cut it down to nine by nine for the minute anyway. If that upsets your OCD, it not being the right way around, then don't use a patterned paper. Right, so I'm going to score it at... Um, oh, I'm going to use my scoreboard. Why? Because I don't use it nearly enough and I think it's good for doing boxes. Pity you can't sort your own words of bless. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just terrible. Right, so I've just taken one side out slightly. So gently, gently, two and a half. Turn it round, out slightly. Two and a half. Good. Right, ladies and gents, which side should I do for the outside of the, well, the lid? This one with the trees or this one with the little... Bitties. I'll take a drink of my coffee while you guys um, see who puts it up first. 
Oh, right, uh, Gemma said trees. Oh, so Gemma was first, so trees it is. Trees it is. Right, so fold and burnish. I just think they're nice. So in one of them, I have my note cards and envelopes. In the other one, I have um, pre-cut C6 cards. And I also have uh, my pre-cut mat layers in it. The third box, I have all my team vouchers and customer reward vouchers and things like that. And then... The smaller one, I have odd-sized envelopes in it. That's what's in there. And I got this as well. Look at this flippy, flippy box. Look at this. So I can see a lot easier what embellishments I have to hand. And this was only £3. Again, b &M. But you know what? They go really quick. So when things go really quick, um, I wish they would be even quicker at replacing them. <laughs> right, so. Yes, they do stack, honey. So you can see the little legs fit in. Perfect. So I've got these from, um, just on my IKEA shelving. And they're quite nice. I'm just trying to think of ways to preserve energy. So if, by opening a drawer, to get something rather than pulling a box out, lifting the lid off. And it also means I can see what's in the box. My little white boxes were all labelled, but if they were round the wrong way, I wouldn't know what was in them. So, yes. Yeah, definitely look for them. They've got... A th they've got... Um, They've got lots in your range like that. They're kind of like, not clear, clear. It's kind of like a matte clear, it's weird. Um, but yeah, they're really good. And the thing is, if you were buying them sorts of things online, they would cost you a fortune. Okay, so again, I'm just folding, burnishing and sticking down the glue tabs. So while I'm talking, I'll just quickly go over the measurements. So the first box is a 12 by 12 sheet and you score it at three and a half on all four sides. Same again as the lid, but on side, the first two scores, just take it out a little smidgen from the edge. And then, oh, you're welcome, Han. And then the next box is a 9x9 nine nine piece. Um, and just go to it two and a half on all four sides, and that'll give you a 4x4 four four box. Right. Oh, Louise, you're doing amazing. Uh, writing them all down, going to have a go at this today. Perfect. Right, now, I've done the lid first, so I'm not gluing the last bit because we need to do the base. <laughs> we need to do the base. almost forgot about that. A box with no base, that would be as much use as a chocolate fire guard, eh? <laughs> Hello, Jane. How are you doing? Right, okay. The only thing is, be careful that you've not got glue, etc., or it'll transfer onto your your white. So have a little glue eraser to hand just in case. And that banana I ate was delicious this morning, but it's given me a little bit of indigestion. Gemma, you love your boxes. If anybody likes making boxes, go and check out my lovely friend and Team Lady Gemma, the crafty little gem on YouTube. She does amazing projects. And she'll see an idea and she'll change it up to suit herself because she's just amazing at doing boxes and things. So go and give her a little, um, a little like on YouTube. Okay, so...
Da 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 da, concentration, concentration. Right, okay, so I have tasted the lid on the base and it's fitting fine. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on like so. Maneuver it a little bit so it definitely sticks. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, so the next box is going to be three by three. Look at that. Wow. Right, so a three by three box. And it's going to be three by three <laughs> by one and a half. So that's six inches in size we need for design series paper and the base. So I think this little bit is going to do after all. So six by six. And then score it at one and a half all the way around. Six. Now I like this trimmer because do, 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 you close it. Oops, my ring's around the wrong way. And you just butt it up to the edge there. And that gives you a perfect six by six size. And this is extremely helpful if you're cutting, if you like to cut your 12 by 12 down to four pieces. Right, again, I'm going to use my simply scored. I'm going to have to take a drink of my coffee. I feel like that banana stuck in my tummy. Um, right, so one and a half on all four sides. Right, hang on, I didn't take the two bits out slightly, so I'll do it with the last two. So out a little bit and one and a half. Out a little bit and one and a half. So that is going to be the lid. So let's cut down this to six by six. Ba, ba, ba. So you can um, potentially get four three by three boxes out of one sheet of this if you're upcycling it. So we have six by six, so we'll just score it at one and a half. And we don't need to pop this out ever so slightly. It's just a straight one and a half on all four sides. Can't pick that up. Do, 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 do. Right. So let me fold and burnish first. Sorry, I keep whistling. See, ever since I got that... Um, Fake plate tooth thing. Uh, um, I'm always um, whistling when I speak. It's so annoying. Okay, so we're going to have the light side on the outside. So I'm folding this in. Folding it in. Folding it in. Lovely. Definitely think you should have a go at this, folks. Right, smaller box, which means I'm going to use my snips. I'm going to have a little drink quick because I've definitely got indigestion from that banana. Mmm. I do love a coffee. Ian, I found, Ian, Mr. Potter, I found a, a coffee meme that I made to tag you in on Facebook. I will share it and tag you. I just thought you'd appreciate the humour of it. <laughs> Concentration is key. I'm so happy that I still have 17 of you guys watching. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm just doing all the cuts at one time. The only thing is my hand, when I was cleaning a wee bit yesterday, I don't know what I've done. I, I, I'm always like banging myself off of stuff. You know what I'm like. I, I end up covered in bruises. But I don't know what's taking the skin naturally off my knuckle. My thumb knuckle there. But it's sore. Right, pop that away. Do, 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 do. There, oops, slightly like squint, Trisha. Right. I'm so quiet. So quiet. Talking about boxes and stuff. 
This is my um, July online class. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? So it's a foldable square gift bag. I'm going to do an exclusive PDF and a video. Remember, I made this before, um, but there's no, no tutorial with it. So that is July's class. It's £15 for the PDF with visual instructions as well as a video. But coming in August, this is going to be my paid class, which is this cool flip top box. And it's made from 12 by 12 and it's not your usual way of kind of like devising a box and building it, but it just, it gets you creative juices flowing and, um, hi Ruth, hi Ruth. It gets your creative juices flowing and lets you think outside the box, no pun intended. Oh, Smithy is sharp today. <laughs> oh dear. Time ran away with me yesterday. Time ran away. Now when it comes to punching the little um, half circles out for the thumb notches on the lids, um, it's relatively easy just to um, wing it by eye, but um, you could use a ruler. So the halfway point on the big box would be two and a half. The halfway point would be two on the medium box. And then the halfway point on this one would be one and a half. You could just put a little line and then put your, um, what do you call it, punch over the top of it. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Now, my mother-in-law has a birthday coming up. I might fill this for her. For she. I don't like her using the word her for some reason. Right, let's glue three of the four tabs together on the lid. No one can see both sides at the same time anyway. Yes, I'm not overly bothered if I, if I punch it squint. I've not got time for all that kind of measuring, but I know some people do like to be nice and precise and there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I like to wing it, as Janice knows. As you all know. <laughs> I'm pinpointing Janice because Janice wings it a lot as well. Maybe we should do a blog hop together called Wing It Wednesday. <laughs> right, okay, just making sure they top goes on yep so it's easy to apply the glue um, when it's already on or it gets more difficult to open up a smaller box that's why you need the thumb notches um, or you can just glue it like this so popping it on oops get it on top of my box just make sure it's all even. Ta-da! That is lovely. There we go. So we're going to get the punch. Where did I put it? Da -da -da -da. Right, I think I will do three sizes of punch. We will go with. Now, where did I put my punches? We'll go with one. We'll go with one and three quarters. Unfortunately, these two are retired. And then we'll go with two inch. Right. This one's not though. Right, let's do this. So let's remove the bases. We'll make a little tag for this as well, just um, to kind of finish it off. So I'm just going to move all the bases. Now, I will say, all of these can be put inside each other for easier storage. If you're gifting a box away or putting it away till Christmas, um, it will all do that. So, right, I'll start with the smallest one first. Okay, so... 
Oh, see what I mean about my hands? So I'm going to do like a third of a... There we go. A third of a circle. I like to put thumb notches on things and when, you know, when you've got flip flaps on your albums and stuff like that. And Joanna's seen the little alphabet punch works too. That's a good idea, lovely. This one, that's good. Let me see what that would look like on here. Well, that's quite nice. Or you can do it that way. Good idea. If you've not got the circle one, thanks for that, honey. That's a good wee tip. Right, what now? We have this one, which is one and three quarters. Or you could use the same size. All right, okay. Pop, just watch your eyes that you don't get poked in the eye with this flying paper. Barbara loves these. Oh, brilliant. Joanna likes winging it as well. Joanna's saying people are more interested about what's inside. Definitely. And they would never know that these trees are upside down on this side and sidey ways. Okay, right, the last one. What, how are we for time? Oh, this has been a perfect one. Guys, if you're a demo, feel free to use this idea for a class. It's, I mean, it's been done millions of times before stacking boxes, but uh, while it's fresh in your mind, why not? It's a good way to use up that designer series paper as well. Okay. I love it. Wow. So, it's quite hard to see, but look. You will need a lot of ribbon for this. To tie it up, but that's absolutely fine. Because I'm going to go over the top, over and under, and up, and then tie it. But first, let's make a label. Okay, now. What would be absolutely gorgeous on a label would be white embossed. White embossed... Um, Sentiment and then clear on the back. Uh, let's see, do I have a light piece, a really light piece that I can use to stamp on? Let me check. Let me get this scoreboard away. I want to see if there's a sheet in here that I can stamp directly on top of. Um, this one, but it's a different pattern. Hmm, you know what, I'll go with just making a label and putting, no, I don't want that one. I'm going to use this one. Or will I? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you can DSP the base, definitely. So in here, this one's okay because there's no, there's no right in. This one is up to the sides. Um, so it's not a good idea to do that. It's okay if you're going to line the inside. So this would be three by three. This would be four by four, and this one would be five by five. So we just put a bit of scrap paper, scrap a uh, card on the bottom. I wouldn't use a good bit or what have you. See, I can't even pick what what bit of paper to use for a tag. Right, I'm definitely going to use a bit of this card though and cover it because it's nice and thick and I'm going to I'm going to make it two and a half by three and a half I think oops that's a good size two and a half by three and a half mm, no two and a half by four and a half I think that would be nice Yes, two and a half by four and a half. For the label, I want... What should I put on? I think we'll use the flowers, because we've not used the flowers. I know it's going to be sideways, but... So, two and a quarter by four and a quarter is going to be the size of the mat. 
Oops, but broke my nail there. Like so. And I'm going to leave it nice and straight. Straight edged. Quite like um, labels like that. Make sure we are sticking down the right side. So I want uh, the reverse of this showing. I almost glued the wrong side there. Barbara, these would be good for your... Um, for gifts and stuff, hun. Yeah, hang on, I've got a mark. I need to get rid of that or it's just going to annoy me. There we go. Yeah, Facebook's been really funny in terms of um, notifications and what have you. Not working. Um, I'll always be here on a Saturday at 10 unless I put a post up to say that I won't. Um, I've got it on a recurring event now, so there's like 40 odd events, so you're stuck with me for the next 40 odd Saturdays at least. <laughs> right, I need a punch. I need a punch that has a slit, so I'm going to go for a very best trio. I'm going to use this. This is great for cornering your um, tags. Um, let me see, but um, Ralph is replying to Barbara to say, what you could do to see if you don't want the right inside is make another box one sixteenth of an inch smaller for each box and glue it inside. Ralph, that's that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Batman, Bat Lady. That's just a saying we see here. <laughs> That'll take us nicely until spring. <laughs> oh, put your hands up if you're looking for looking forward to autumn already. I am. I'm so over gardening in that now. Give me pumpkins and nice uh, rustic colours now. Right, let's make a, a, a tag label thing. What do you call it? Ribbon. Right. Didn't cut that very well, did I? Right, have I got a lighter on me? Yep, I'm just going to melt the edges. I'm not doing it on video because it's dangerous and I don't want even anybody to burn myself. So we have that for that. Now it's time to open up this big huge ribbon that I've almost finished. We've got a perfect way to finish a spill on a big project like this. Right, let me fix this. Autumn has started, hasn't it? Well, it certainly has in my brain. <laughs> the shops, the shops are, are, have um, pumpkin things and everything now I've seen on Facebook. Now, this might be a little bit too long. So let me just trial and error it. Right, don't laugh when I, when I knock these off and what have you. Ba -ba -da -ba. You can um, secure them maybe with a glue dot or something but yeah that's ever so slightly too big so let me start that again let me shorten this there we go don't worry i will cover the bottom of that yeah that's perfect right okay so some ribbon excess on this. Oh, it's just fell in the floor. I will fix that before I, I gift it away. Right, now when it comes to tying the top of the box, what I like to do, get all these centred, what I like to do is feed, I'm not giving you lessons on how to tie boxes, but this is this just helps me and I don't, if anybody else doesn't do it already then, I just feed opposite ends through the top. And then I tie it. Make sure it's all the right way. Then I kind of tie it so that it's in the middle. She says, oh my goodness, Trisha, I told you my hands weren't working. Yeah, so basically if you feed it underneath on each side, it's easier to tie a little knot and then get your bow done. Especially if you um, faff about with bows. Um, so, okay, oops. See the strength of me. Right, so do that. 
hold it with one finger. We want just one, one little knot, like so, so that we can remove it easily. Um, before we do the bow, we want to put our little label on. Joanna's saying it's de definitely up and down in Cambridge. I know, I know. Right, okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this little, sorry, I'm off screen. I'm going to tie this just very loosely. How you um, sort your bows and what have you is up to you. Oh, hang on. My husband's just come in. I think he's waiting at the garage to get something. Oh, and the dogs are barking. They don't know it's him. Right, okay. Sorry if that's putting you off. Puts me off when the dogs bark. Okay, we're just going to tie a bow. Now, I know my um, ribbon isn't as nice on the top there. I would need to do something else with this tag, but... That is today's project. Look how fab. Who's going to give it a little go and share it on Crafty Stamping Club group and our other groups, our other friends groups. Look at that. A little bit upcycling in there, a little bit using up your designers used paper, a little bit use up the ribbons you're hoarding. <laughs> and yeah, it's good. So you can fill this with um, sweeties or, or what have you. Um, you can put anything in it really, anything. I might um, make a few more of these in different designer series papers and share it on my social media just to show everybody how gorgeous the papers are. Look at that, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, thank you everyone, you're so kind. Thanks Karen and Joanna and that's good if you make it awesome. Thanks Carol. Um, yeah, definitely great for Christmas too. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the love, says all. Um, so yeah, that is today's project. So, um, yep, uh, what we'll do is um, homemade sweets. Yes, you could put cakes in it. Not that I can have anything with, um, what you call it, lactose in it now, like, but um, yeah, lots of stuff. So, um, Jane's going to try it later. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, if you are watching on Catch Up um, on Facebook or YouTube, let me know by doing replay. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching through YouTube. That would be great. And I will link the Crafty Sampling Club link on my YouTube video on the screen so that people can join in um, and take part. Before I go, though, guys, please remember we've got um, online exclusives. This is what I'm trying to order, the One Horse Open Sleigh Sweet Collection. Um, so we've got that. We've got the bonus days where you earn £4.50 per £45 spent. Um, and you redeem those coupons in April. We've got July giveaway on the, this business page. It's pinned to the top. Um, one entry for a comment on the post. Two entries for a share. Shop online with me, you get an extra five. Um, Rousey saying first was yeah twelve by twelve nine by nine and then six by six. Um, so the twelve by twelve is scored at three and a half on all four sides. The nine by nine is scored at um, two and a half on all four sides, and the six by six is scored at uh, one and a half on all four sides. Bear in mind for the lid, take it out just a tiny little bit on two of the lid scores, um, so that it goes over your box easier. Um, Crafty Sample Club, we have this challenge, which is a circle, a sentiment, include punched elements. Um, you're welcome, honey. Um, this is my take. There's some lovely um, projects up there. Um, take part in that and someone will be picked randomly to win a wee prize. Um, yeah. And of course, if you're shopping online between now and... Tonight, that is my hostess code with the mostest. Hostess with the mostest. Listen, folks, thank you so, so much for coming on and watching. Um, I think I might make more of these through the week. I've been off on holiday this week and I've only managed to make two cards and one scrapbook page and they're all for blogs. So, this is it here. I'll say bye just now and um, I'll speak to you all soon. 
See you later, alligators. Bye.